Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys another episode of Meta Monday. So, for those of you that don't know, the series of Meta Monday goes over what the most popular decks are on ladder the last seven days to kind of give you preparation for the next seven days and show you, you know, what the best decks are, what the most played decks are, give you an idea of something you might want to play, or at least let you know what you're going to be probably playing against. So before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys that 78% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to me. So if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor, click that subscribe button, comment down below. Um, and it would, let me know what deck you're playing to climb in the ladder right now, to climb in this meta. Um, and leave me that down in the comments down below so other people know what you're playing and can see. Maybe they'll ask you some questions about it and then get some inspiration from you. But all that type of stuff helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So that's it. Quick intro. I know people like the quick intros a lot more, so we're just going to get right into to it so we're just gonna look at the seven most played decks on ladder i'm gonna give the overall thoughts on what the ladder you know looks like um give the thoughts on if any of these decks are overrated if they're just kind of bad in general and then i'll give you the deck that i'm going to be playing on ladder this week um and have been playing on ladder and i'll let you know what um you know what deck i think is the best deck on ladder right now so let's just start by looking at the top eight decks so number one most played deck in the game right now is Kane Aatrox. So Kane Aatrox. Oh, let me pull up the picture of it. Kane. Okay. There it is. Kane Aatrox. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, Darkened Cultist, right? So uh, obviously uh, Aatrox lets you play Darken. Kane lets you play Cultist. So you can play Dark and Cultist. It's very solid. Uh, I think this was probably the kind of first version of the deck that got really popular. I noticed that it's starting to fall in play rate um, from week to week, as uh, especially as much as uh, Quain, uh, Quain Aatrox, Quain Vein Aatrox gets more popular. So we see people kind of favoring the Quain Vein Aatrox over the Kane Aatrox a little bit more and more every week. So I wouldn't be surprised if next week this drops down to number two. Um, either way, the decks are extremely sim similar. Um, you still play the, you know, big mid-range package. You're having the uh, Unforgiving Gold. Go ahead and Frostbite the enemies. You still have your Spell Shield. You know, you have your Strike Spells. You have the Broken Save Spell. So you're chilling. You got your Anti-Aggro Package. Obviously, Aatrox gains you some life. But also, you have your Keeper in the Box Package just to gain you some life here because you're playing the Cultist Package. Um, and then outside of that, you have... Um, Dark and Orb to give you good trades with, you know, maybe you're trying to gain a bunch of life with the lifesteal. Maybe you're just trying to, like, get there really quickly with the elusive. And, you know, you push elusive damage. You know, that's what you have the Dark and Blood Letters for. You can be really aggressive with this package. As well as you can go into the mid game. All of these transform into kind of banger champions or banger units towards the mid game to end game. And then you have the Forgiving Cold to really just blow your opponent out on a really big combat sequence. Um, so yeah, so most played deck. Um, one thing you will notice that even though it's broken up into a couple different decks here, the most played deck in the game right now is going to be an Aatrox variant. Um, you see here, just in top eight alone, we have three Aatrox decks. So even though Aatrox is not like, you know, it says like, oh, well, you know, it only has a 6.8% play rate. Like that's not that high. And then you say this was like, oh, well, it only has a 6.3% player. It's like, well, they're different decks. They do kind of play similar. Like, they're both going to be these mid-range Aatrox style decks. Um, but you see here, you know, we can round this up to like 7%, round this down to, you know, 6%. So that's 13% play rate. And then you add this one, and this is going to be another 2%. So that's 15% of the meta is just Aatrox. And that's not including all the weird Aatrox builds. This is just like Aatrox Demacia, Aatrox Kane. Um is 15% of the entire Masters meta right now, which is pretty insane. Uh, deck number two, which I think is probably the second best deck on ladder right now, is going to be the Quinn Vane Aatrox. So this is going to be extremely similar to the uh, old Quinn Vane PNZ deck, where you would just throw a Darken Harp onto some of your Challenger units, have Scout, have Challenger, kind of pop off that way. Um, take control of the game because you have you know, uh, Challenger Quick Attack and Challenger Quick Attack is extremely hard to deal with. Sometimes you have Scout Challenger Quick Attack and that's like impossible to deal with uh, if you're just a regular mid-range deck. Um, this deck also plays uh, combat tricks with Catch so you can burst speed in some of these... Um, you know, like tough weapons and stuff like that. Um, you just go for a simple plus one plus one if you just need to avoid a ping, uh, but keep your Quick Attack excuse me so yeah that's what this deck's uh mostly about here so you got your challenger 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 scout um you know challenger scout so 
uh vein still insanely good still can run away with the game um this version or this specific decklist isn't playing the one of condemn but i know a lot of people have kind of opted into the one of condemn here so we can see here the top players all have 80 plus percent win rate so yeah this is a condemn this person's even going champion strikes they're really trying to grind you out um sergi uh like the two of condemns so not even a one of uh miller we has one of condemn so a lot of people are here playing at least one to two condemn here as we can see so i don't really know i have said this literally since ars got popular and i don't know how they get this deck list right here but i always 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 recommend to you guys if you're trying to find you know a good deck list for this never just take one deck list don't do that don't just look at one person's deck list and be like okay this is good because like if you click on this first one and you see oh two champion strengths you know like but then you look at the other four players and none of them are playing champion strength then champion strength probably isn't that good of a card or they're playing it for maybe their little pocket meta you know like this person's um you know americas but they're also from australia so that means that they play at really weird times for the america shards they're going to be playing at you know what's 3 4 a.m for most um you know north american players so maybe their meta at that 2 3 4 a.m requires them to be extremely greedy with this champion string you know this uh you know sergi is europe so you know he could be playing in europe if you saw him play like oh he's on the cataclysm and two condoms so like he's very combat centric so maybe he just plays at the time of day he plays he just plays against a lot of mid-range mirror matches and he really wants the one up against that um so definitely look around at the different like i always look at the top five decks and see if there's you know just a common core of cards with there there usually is there's usually about 30 cards that are exactly the same sometimes 35 cards that are exactly the same and then you just have to pick between those last five you know like tech cards on what it is you want to play against or what it is you want to play with and really you can use those to determine your own pocket meta and figure out what's best for you um so let's see here so yeah and then so we have next number three is seraphine ezreal vandal city so extremely popular this is probably the third best deck for ladder right now this is an insanely popular um deck for tournaments at the moment i know the core of uh atrox like atrox vane quinn and then seraphine ezreal vandal city is essentially like the best core right now for tournaments um but the problem is like all the third decks are kind of just like whatever for tournament format so that's been the biggest issue for people is trying to find the third deck for tournament format. Um, but yeah, it's just a very solid Seraphine deck. Almost looks like a single tick, single tin deck. Kind of looks almost trolly. Um, but yeah, this deck is very much just Seraphine nonsense because Seraphine is still really good. Ezreal is still really good. Um, you have the one of Victor in case you need to go long and just the Ezreal won't get it there and you need to win during combat somehow. Um, you know really good for you other than that it's just you know spell spell spells created spells spell spell spells cheap spells you know like oh look at that deal one damage to everything spells like flow costs one less so you flow the turn before you make this cost two all of a sudden now it can be um you know copied with seraphine or if you just simply have a bar out you know it gets copied by seraphine so now you're dealing two mana deal two damage to all enemies you're just like you know fast speed one-sided avalanche for two mana is kind of insane so uh yeah just very good combo deck if you like these spell oriented decks it's just a seraphine deck if you like seraphine decks this is the deck for you coming in at number four is going to be red gwen um gwen katarina whatever you want to call it um yeah it's just a very solid mid-range deck very fair probably one of the more fair decks we have right now um and it's just very average i guess as what i would say it's just very average um this is going to be the aggressive style so it plays the legion rear guards because you do need to get underneath some of these decks here and it seems that aggro is doing a really good job of that draven jinx has popped up done really good lately um the best deck that i think for a ladder which i'll we'll get to later is an aggro deck and it's doing really well um so it looks like going this like kind of lower to the ground legion rear guard style is going to be better um i don't know if it's worth missing out on the um I don't know if it's missing out on the weapon from not playing the one mana two on weapon guy it's also wasn't playing the challenger you know weapon guy that gets you the weapon part so you're really not going infinite with eternal dancers very often um and that could be a big way to cheese your opponent sometimes if they go turn six atrox and you just like turn six lethal them with infinite attacks off of eternal dancers um so i don't play that version i play the version with the bladesmith still or what, what are they called um Im uh improvise it's not improvised it's whatever the ones that give you the oh reforged so yeah i play the reforged package 
because it still gives me that out to go hey turn six they play atrox turn six i play eternal dancers kill them turn six they play bar turn six i play eternal dancers kill them um so that's what i really like about the reforge package number five is discard aggro Draymond jinx pnz noxus pnz so very standard deck um hasn't really changed much over time, you see here, people are getting really good win rate. Max has been tweeting at me. He's getting, trying to get me to play this deck with the Reborn Grenadier. So this is a very, very all-in package with the Reborn Grenadier. No top end at all. You see here, there's no uh, there's no crowd favorite at all here. You still got the two survival skills to keep your Jinx alive and Draven alive. I'm a really big fan of two survival skills. Always have been. Won a seasonal championship with two survival skills in my deck. I think that card has been really underrated in Discord aggro for a very long time. And you see here, a lot of other people are just chilling with triple, um, you know, 80 plus percent win rate. So we got the Crimson Pigeon system plays a lot of the new cards. Excuse me. System plays a lot of the new cards. So you can put do one damage to the Reborn Grenadier, put it to a 3-1, who cares? And then give this, you know, uh, <clears throat> give it, uh, make it a 3-3. So it's a one minute 3-3. Very cool. Apply a lot of pressure there. So all in all, discard aggro seems to be good. Aggro decks just seem to be good in general right now. Uh, there's one aggro deck that's really, really, really good, and we'll get to that at the very end. And number six is going to be Acolyte deck. I don't really think this deck is too good anymore. I think the deck's kind of just getting beat just by simply that it got nerfed and other decks didn't really get nerfed. Um, so I don't think this deck is necessarily bad. I just think that the other decks that were on its power level stayed at that power level and stayed really good, and this deck just got brought down. So, like, I still think, like, Vayne Aatrox Kane, uh, or sorry, Vayne Aatrox Quinn, really good. Vayne uh, Kane, Aatrox Kane, sorry, they're all the fucking same champions. Aatrox Kane, still really good. Seraphine beat uh, Vandal City, still really good. So, it's really just that all the other decks stayed at that very, very top tier, and this just got bumped down another tier. So, um, still, I don't think it's horrible. I just think other decks are simply better, to be honest with you. Number seven uh, is Vayne Aatrox. This is just Vayne Quinn Aatrox, but. You don't play Quinn. Um, you don't play too much of the challenger package. This is more of just a fair mid-range package that just says, hey, we're mid-range decks and we want to abuse the quick attack stuff. We want to abuse um, some more weapons that aren't just quick attack. So it's a lot less all in on the challenger quick attack plan and more just generic mid-range. Like you your people are playing combat cook, which I don't really like combat cook in mid-range decks. I think it's not very good, but yeah, they're, they're playing, you know, Widowed Huntress. So I still want to have that little bit of challenger game plan. I just think this deck is strictly worse than the um, all in challenger package uh, personally, but you know, maybe other people are having more success with it. Obviously, it can't be too bad. It's 56% win rate. So compare that to this one. You know, it's just 57 and a half. Almost the same win rate. Almost the same deck. So it is what it is. And the last uh, deck on the top eight is going to be Jet Annie. So Jet Annie, I feel like it's always here just simply because people like aggro decks. Um, I don't even think this deck is good. I think it's just here because people like to play it, to be honest with you. So uh there's not really much to go over this has been the same deck since it came out like literally the exact same deck always i don't know if this deck has ever not been in the top eight most played just because people simply like to play it <laughs> like pe people just simply like playing this deck it's very easy to build it's very simple it, it does what it does and people love it i don't i legitimately don't know if i've ever done a meta monday since this deck came out and not had Jin annie in that top eight but yeah those are the eight most popular decks so now we're going to look at the eight uh decks with the highest win rate in the game and they are going to be Vayne, a Vayne, Quinn, Aatrox. Cool. Then we have Nightfall coming in at number two with a 56.5% win rate. Very low amount of matches, but you see here it's kind of doing work. But we see the big issue with a lot of decks like these is they beat all of the random stuff. They lose to the very popular stuff. And then, wow, surprise, surprise, the number one player on this deck is just a really good, you know, competitive player. So that's typically what it looks like when you see a deck have very small amount of matches played, but a very decent win rate. It's usually getting carried by one player. And this, you know, instance, you know, Gailey, insanely good player from Brazil, um, posting almost an 80% win rate with this deck. But once you look at the stats, you see, wow, it loses to literally the three most popular decks in the game. Probably not worth playing. And then number three is going to be Jinx Lulu. And this is the deck that I think is the best deck to play on ladder right now. Um, I think this deck, if you look at the win rates of it, it has, you know, one person at above 
one person right under you know well, another person right under 80 percent and the other two at like high 70 low 70 percent but i think this deck is so good it beats a lot of the top decks right now it's beating the vein atrox uh kane i know it says it's losing to it but it's doing pretty decent into like vein uh into Aatrox Kane. It does really good into the Bandle City Seraphine decks. It does really good into um like Red Gwyn, like other mid-range decks, which just straight up goes underneath them. And then you're gonna be uh, see here you go, 65%. And you're just gonna be beating all the random jank trash decks because you're just simply a really, really, really good aggro deck. I think it's the best aggro deck in the game right now. And uh this is deck actually I have a video coming out where I climb uh, a bunch of LP on ladder and uh, I'm using this deck, so I'll look out for that video later this week. So yeah, this is the deck that I would recommend playing in the um, on ladder right now, and I'm gonna post a deck code that I'm using right now of this deck in the description below. So if you wanna check out that deck code, so you can play the exact uh, 40 cards that I'm playing on ladder right now, you can go and check that out in the description below, as well as a link to my Discord. Uh, is in my description below. It's the number one place for competitive LOR. People are still in there, always talking about LOR. Even though I took a break from content creation, people have still been in there talking about LOR, talking about tournaments, or you know, having a watch party for the most recent two thousand dollar Master and Runeterra tournament. So there was a lot of stuff going on in my Discord for these tournaments and for competitive LOR that people still hang out with. Also, a place for TFT um, and Marvel Snap. Also, that each have their own little communities inside that Discord. So if you're interested in all that, join the Discord. Links down in the description below. Really appreciate you guys watching again. Like, comment, subscribe, and then comment down below what deck you're using to climb ladder, what deck you've been using to climb ladder, and how it's been going for you. That's going to be it for this video. Look out for my video later this week where I'm playing some uh, Lulu Jink, showing you guys why I think it's the best deck in, uh, to climb ladder right now. And I also am going to go over the deck that won $2,000 tournament with Ash Kindred. So if you're interested in those videos, the $2,000 Ash Kindred winning deck, um, again, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, make sure you check in you know, later this week. That's going to be it for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.